people rely on their propane tanks and a lot of times, uh, in most cases, it's close uh, to the house. Uh, it's this, in this case, it's probably 50 feet from the home. Yeah, it would blow the house away probably, you know, and uh, it's very powerful, the explosions. Matter of fact, in Colorado Springs, uh, the fire department said it was like the 4th of July. They said just constantly, they, when they were fighting the fires, they'd hear the propane tanks exploding. That's just from the general radiant heat that's, that's that close to the fire. We are making essentially a fire shelter for the propane tank. It's, it's about a quarter of an inch of fire blanket that will resist 3,000 degrees worth of heat. It's inside of a foil blank, uh, casing, okay, so it's waterproof, and then it's anchored down, basically, uh, over it. Uh, it's not difficult to put on. They can put it on in just a few minutes and then you know, stake it down just like you would a tent just for demonstration purposes. We're going to design a fire cover for this propane tank. Uh, as you can see, it has a, a lot of similarities, you know, to a hydrogen bomb. <laughs> and it's not going to blow up the city or anything. But once this thing gets to a certain temperature, uh, it is going to explode and it's going to blow, you know, anything away that's within 50 yards of it, okay? So by keeping it under its critical temperature limits, has the the fire blanket off the space shuttle and it has the, um, the basically just an aluminum outer foil and that basically just reflects the radiant heat so as you have those hot summer days it's going to keep everything cooler anyway.